This tutorial is devoted to a first parametric test of association, Pearson's correlation. The test is parametric because to use it you need variables that are measured at interval, ratio or continuous scales. We have two such variables in our data set, age and income, and we will carry the tests on those variables. The key advantage of parametric tests over non-parametric tests such as chi-square is that in addition to presence or absence of relationship, Pearson's correlation also shows you the strength of that relationship and its directions. That is, variables may be positively or negatively related and they may be related with differing strengths, low, medium or strongly related. Let's compute a correlation. To do this we go to menu called Analyze and an option called Correlate. To find Pearson's correlation you need to click Bivariate Correlation. And we will try to correlate our two variables to see if there is a relationship between income and age. Now we would expect that the older you are the longer you've been with the company, the higher your income. But um, we'll see if that uh, works indeed in our sample. So, as you can see in that bivariate correlation box, the option Pearson's correlations is already ticked. So that's fine. We have chosen our variables and all that remains to do is to click OK. Here is our result. What the result shows is the relationship between income and age in this 2 by 2 table. The table is symmetrical against its diagonal axis, so that number is always the same as this number. And on diagonal you will always find ones because income and income are perfectly positively correlated. But our question was, what's the correlation between age and income? And we have three figures. So at the bottom is the number of cases that were used to compute the numbers. In this case, 67. So 67 respondents provided both the income and the age detail. Then we have significance. Does this relationship exist? Is it statistically significant or is it spurious? We would expect the figure here to be below 0.05, meaning that the probability of this being spurious is infinitely low. When the probability of the relationship being spurious is very low, then we accept that the relationship exists. The value of correlation always differs between 1 and minus 1, where 1 is perfect positive correlation and minus 1 is perfect negative correlation. So uh, in this case we have a positive correlation when age increases, income increases. And it's quite strong on 0.6, so there's quite a good relationship between age and income, though this, this relationship is not perfect. As you get older, you don't necessarily have to earn more. But nonetheless, it is positive, significant and strong. So here it is, a Pearson's correlation.